be in fact with different types of exercises that you can do right from your home and keep getting great results. This is awesome guys as we exercise and strengthen the muscles. We avoid joint pain and stiffness. We strengthen the heart and improve circulation. We improve brain function. We lower blood pressure. We boost our energy. We sleep better. We have better moods. Just by exercising daily, these are the results that we all receive. I hope I can motivate you guys enough to hang in there, be consistent, not give up, and fight to stay motivated so that you too can receive these amazing results. We'll start by working the back and chest muscles. We use these muscles in our everyday activity. When you have a strong chest, your entire body feels strong. We'll start with the upper back, the traps or trapezius muscle, then the lats or the latissimus dorsi, that muscle that runs down the side of the back. We begin by doing the one-arm dumbbell row. Grab your towel, get your water bottle, Turn your music on and let's make this workout an amazing workout session. Let's begin the one arm dumbbell row. This exercise builds a strong back. It really works those upper back muscles. I'll do a demonstration, show you how the exercise is done, and then I'll begin by doing a set of 10 reps. Put your knee on the bench. If you don't have an incline bench, then that's fine. In my next set, I'll show you how it is done without the bench. Knee on the bench, palms down, flat back, grab the dumbbell, or if you don't have dumbbells, you can use water bottles. When you're down, get your leg a little way from the bench, not too close to the bench. Bring the weight down, and you pull up and squeeze that in the back of the One more time, go down, up and you squeeze the back muscle. Okay, now I'll begin my set. Okay, let's do the other side without the bench. One leg slightly to the front, put the right hand over the knee for support. Step back on the other foot, bend over, flat back. Bring the weight down and pull up slowly and in control. Great, now let's move on to the next back exercise. So the next workout is the standing scapular pinch. It gets those muscles in the back nice and strong. Those muscles stabilize your shoulder blades. It's a pretty simple exercise. I'll stand doing a set of five facing you guys and then I'm, I'm gonna turn around so you can see how it is done from the back, how the shoulder blades come together and really strengthen that back muscle. I'll first stand to the front, stand, legs uh, or feet shoulder width apart, palms facing you, and you take the hand, your hands back as you squeeze the upper shoulder blades together, hold for two to three seconds, and then you bring it back arms facing you. Do it again. Take it out to the back and you squeeze the back muscle, bringing your shoulder blades in together. Hold two to three seconds. 
seconds and repeat. Yes, I'm going to start the set of five, then I'll turn around and do my other set. shoulder blades look when you bring it together. Bring it together, hold it, and squeeze. Chest up, look forward, straight ahead. the dumbbell bent over roll. This exercise builds a strong upper back. It also works the biceps and the shoulders. Now with this exercise, I'm going to first do a demonstration. And one thing I want to remind you guys, if you are working with dumbbells, even if it's just water bottles, get into the habit of when you are done doing your workout, especially if you have to reach and pick it up. You bend your knees first and then you pick the weights up. When you're done working out, you drop the weights and then you slowly come up. That's being cautious. So I'll do a demonstration. Okay, the weights on the floor. And you're about to pick these weights up. First, you bend your knees, you come down, you pick the weights up. Put it at the top where you can reach it comfortably so when you're ready to start your exercise you don't have to keep bending down you don't want to create any type of injury in the lower back okay now I'll perform I'll do a demonstration and then start the exercise bend over row you stand feet shoulder width hinge over from the waist Slight bend in the knee. Come down with the weight. Pull it up. Kick your elbows back. You come down and you repeat. Pull it up. Squeeze and you repeat. Okay. Now I'll do one set of ten. I'll give you a side view and you'll see exactly how this exercise is being done. the weights if you have to come up slowly always put yourself first that way you do not get any unnecessary injury okay that completes the back exercise now let's move on to working those chest muscles and the fun continues we'll start on the chest by doing the dumbbell chest fly this exercise opens up your chest muscles, it reduces back pain, upper back pain, and it increases range of motion. I'll first do a demonstration. If you do not have dumbbells, continue to use your water bottle. Chest level, 
up slowly and repeat. I'll do my set of 10 reps. Arch position. chest feels great. Moving on to the next exercise, dumbbell bench press. This exercise works the overall chest as well as the core muscle. I'll do my demonstration and I'll then, then I'll do a set of 10 reps. continue on with our next chest workout. Okay guys, now we do another simple exercise for the upper chest. It's very simple but it's very effective. It's called the Savannah Press. You can do this exercise using a book or a yoga block if you have one. I'll use my yoga block. I'll give you guys a set nice side view. Get the book or the yoga block Hold it in the palm of your hands. Bring it out in front of your chest. Put it into your chest. And take it back out. You feel that muscle activated with you just holding the book out together. Holding the book out and keeping it up in front of your chest. Pull it in. As you bring it back out, you can feel that chest muscle getting a nice workout. I'll do five more. Bring it out. Hold. Now, if this is still too much, your hand or your wrist hurts, then here's another simple way that's just as effective. It's like a standing chest fly. I'll give you a side view, uh, front view. Make a fist. You can also use your water bottles, or you don't have to. Make a fist. You open your arms out like you're hugging a barrel. Please stand so you guys can get a good view. Like you're hugging a barrel, you bring it around, and as you close, you feel that upper chest muscle, those pegs, really getting a workout. 
open up, close, and as you come together, you squeeze that upper chest muscle. Okay, let's do a set of 10. One, in a barrel. Let's do one more. Squeeze and hold. Great. That felt awesome. I kept saying 10, 5, let's do one more, let's do two more. It really feels great. Hope you guys are enjoying the workout. And this completes the end of my workout session. Hope you join me from start to finish. Hey, I know we all have busy schedules, sometimes too busy to work out or even fix a quick meal. But try this, fit yourself into your busy schedule as a number one priority. Get your workout in, receive that energy flow that leaves you feeling awesome and ready for the next day. Please remember to like this video remember to share and most of all remember to subscribe so when my next video comes out you guys will be the first to know and remember to go to my youtube page with jazz the quick and healthy recipe ideas thank you so much for watching guys y'all be safe